The amount of time and instruction it takes for a tennis player to reach a point of success requires a countless amount of time and sacrifice. Well, I found a local kid who learned the ropes of the game with little to no instruction. Ten-year-old An Tron can barely see over the net, but when it comes to the game of tennis, this is a love that's far better than any video game. It's just that when I watch TV, it just looks like I, it's fun. You see, Tron has become quite the regular at the courts at Payne Park, and the adults there say he's quite the player. The kid is amazing. He sits and watches videos on the internet of old tennis matches, is obsessed, plays out behind his parents' nail salon, you know, with a wall. And judging by his technique and skill level, you'd think he's had at least some private lessons to get him to where he is today. But Tron says, not really. I only had one lesson in my life. Yeah? So how did you learn all this stuff right? How did you learn the strokes? Um, well, I look at the, um, how the pros do it, how they follow through and how they uh, how do the footwork and everything like that. Yeah? And you just pick it up just like that, huh? Yes. <laughs> and it's a passion for the game he's had ever since he could walk. So I started when I was about two years old. Till I quit for like four or five years. Then I started again when I was eight. Till I came back playing very good again. So now it's every Saturday at 8.30 a.m. the 10-year-old makes his way to the courts with his mentor ready to play anyone with a racket. And he plays with the adults. Yeah, he'll play with anybody. I mean, it, it started out where I was taking it easy on him. Now I think he's, you know, genuinely hitting winners on me. With a kid so charming and talented, members of Payne Park now look after him like he's one of their own. But he is a really good kid, and he goes out of his way to thank me for bringing him down here and really appreciates anybody hitting with him. Well, she told me just like it doesn't matter about winning or losing. It's just that, um, how you do your game and how you uh, follow strokes. He could be literally the, the, the diamond in the rough here. He, he owes me a car when he gets his first big tournament. We've, we've already got the deal. <laughs> I said I don't care what kind of car, I've got witnesses. Talk about maybe the next big star right here in our own backyard. And that'll do it for Six Sports this time around. Thanks for watching. I'm Antoine Smith.